hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. First of all, let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation as always. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, and duration is 10 lakh and long. And background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose green and guide option and hit on title selection. Then select your text tool and choose whatever font you want. I'm going to choose black color and Oswald font in a regular format. And let's type our first text. I'm going to type motion. Let's select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size somewhere around let's say like this. Now first of all, let's go to the text, animate and I'm going to choose tracking like that. Now first of all, you need to understand that your paragraph should be properly center text. Okay. And let's make this values in negative form let's say minus 150 and create one keyframe then press T for opacity create another keyframe and hit U and let's go to around zoom in a little bit let's go to around 20 frames and let's make this zero tracking amount opacity should be 100 and let's increase this tracking amount somewhere around let's say 100 okay and initially opacity should be zero now select those keyframes, hit F9, go to the graph editor, right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph. Select this graph by holding shift, move this handle over here and this handle over here. So if you see this text, you will get something like this. Let's select this last keyframe and let's move up to 1.10 frames. So we'll get something like this. Now select this text, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, press S for scaling option and we are going to make it 65 now okay so you will get some larger text now press p for position and bring this text over here and go to the character menu i'm going to delete this fill and i'll add stroke and stroke width i'm going to choose 10 pix or 1 pixels only select this hit ctrl d again press p for position and let's bring this downwards somewhere around over here okay so if you see you will get something like this now what I'm gonna do, I'll go few frame forward, I'll move this over here, I'll go few frame forwards and I'll move this over here. So before, because of that, I'll get something like this. Then I'll select this text, so I want to animate this, so I'm going to change this one to yellow form, like this. Now let's select this, hit U, first of all, let's see where is the last keyframe, which is over here. So I'll go to around one second, I'll press P for position, I'll create one keyframe, then I'll go to 20 frame, I mean two, uh, say two seconds and i'll move this totally up to here like this okay so if you see we will get something like this then i'm going to select my rectangle selection tool and for the fill i'm going to choose black color and then i'm going to create one rectangle like this okay select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically then press y on your keyboard to select your pen behind tool and by holding control i'll move this anchor point over here and then i'll move this uh, thing over here press s for scaling option unlink this create one keyframe over here go over here create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero on x now select those all both of these keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here we have this handle also so move this over here only and this handle also here so if you see i'll get something like this so if you hit play we will get this kind of animation and let's go to around 20 frames and select those keyframes and move them over here so our animation will look a little bit faster so if we hit play from the start i'll get something like this motion okay then i'm going to add my another sex text so i'm going to select this text tool and i'm going to type design for this i'm going to choose fill and for the fill i'm going to choose 
sorry uh, let's so choose white color and decrease the size okay let's select this press ctrl alt o and adjust this text over here press s and let's adjust the size of it like this now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select this and i'm gonna make it apparent with this text over here like that so if you see we will get this kind of stuff now i want this thing should appear at this point so i'll move this over here so now let's choose quarter resolution so we can see our animation smoothly so i'll get something like this let's select this text and move this a little bit over here so if i see first i'll get this this then at this point i'll press p for position to create one keyframe then i'll go to around 20 frames and i'll move this text from here to here like that select those position keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph move this handle over here and this handle over here okay so i'll get something like this and make sure to you know, you select all of them and enable motion blur so because we are enabling motion blur we will get that transition a little bit smoother then this text should change at this point so i'll select this i'll go inside this text and i'll create one keyframe at source text i'll hit page down button to go one frame forward and i'll create another keyframe and let's disable this motion blur for now and type different text over here i'm going to type is mine so if i see this animation now i'll get this transition over here and if you hit motion blur you will get a little bit smoother transition so first this 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 okay then uh, we will select this two text over here uh, after this animation i'll press p for position i'll create one keyframe i'll go somewhere around let's say five second or let's say somewhere around over here let's move this downwards and move this upwards so if you hit play you will get something like this okay now select all of them press ctrl shift c to create one pre comp i'll call it as first text and hit ok like that double click to open this press ctrl y to create one solid and move this over here like that select this first text select your rectangle selection tool and we will create one mask over here select this hit ctrl d press m uh, and uncheck this in check out this inverted so we'll get something like this so if we hit play from the start first i'll get this this and this then from this to this i'll press p for position i'll create one keyframe go to around four seconds let's select this one this downwards select this one and move this to upwards select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so if we hit play first i'll give this this and then this now uh, i'll press ctrl y on my keyboard and i'll type black color and bring this downwards and type our text first of all hit go and let's go but if you see over here uh, in full resolution we are still getting this this is because uh, uh, we have mask on our layer so let's enable that let's see which layer it has this okay so this layer has this so what i'm gonna do i'll simply select this mask only this points only and i'll try to cover up like that so now we will get rid of that white color okay now i'll type my text over here just below let's select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center select this and move this over here 
and I'll bring this text over here like this let's select both of them and move them over here now after that select this text press s create one keyframe go full frame forward and let's increase the size of this like this and select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here and if you think this is quite slow so you can move those keyframes a little bit over here and press p create one keyframe go few frame forwards up to five seconds and let's move them over here out of this composition not too much but somewhere around over here okay then select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you see we will get something like this also enable this motion blur now what we are going to do we will select this we will select both of them and we will press ctrl shift c and we will na name it as blur text hit ok alt close bracket i mean open bracket so if you see this now we will get something like this now after that at this point let's say up to when this text goes what i'm gonna do hit u let's select both of these things first of all hit u at this point they are gone so i'll press alt close bracket and now i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate both of them and i'll move them over here and i want they should start animate from here again but this time what i'm gonna do over here i'll select this layer i'll go to the effect and presets panel and I'll apply tint effect on it and i'll swap this color i'll select the same effect hit ctrl c select this and hit ctrl v like this and if you see this infusion we will get something like this in motion again and at this point I'll select this love text I'll hit ctrl D I'll move this over here and I'll again select this apply tint effect on it and swap this color okay and at this point I'll hit N on my keyboard so it will animate from start so this is one form of loop we are gonna get for this animation entire animation cycle and if you see this thing in full resolution we are not gonna get any glitches uh, like half of the text is not visible obviously it will take a little bit time to load because we have added motion blur in it so it will take a little bit time to load but once it happens we will get proper results okay so this is how you can create this kind of animation and also enable motion blur for all of them so yep that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this, then check out these two videos. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, stay tuned.